in downtown Portland at the Portland Art Museum. We're in the Mark Building. It was originally a Masonic temple built back in 1925. We are in the Crumpacker Family Library located on the second floor in the Mark Building. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Well, fairy tales do come true right here in Portland. Just ask our next guest. Please welcome David Greenwald, writer and executive producer of Grimm. Thank you very much for being here. Glad to be here. So, Grimm, TV show. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about why you chose Portland. Well, Grimm, the new TV show, it's going to be on in October uh, on NBC. Uh, we chose Portland because it looks like a Grimm fairy tale. And our show is a modern retelling of the Grimm fairy tales. And we love Portland because uh, we have forests, we have rivers, we have uh, a geodesic dome in the middle of nowhere if I need it, a beautiful cottage in the woods, or a great downtown area. So it's both modern and kind of old fashioned and quaint. And the people are great, they want us here. We, we like being here. When, when you say Portland is, is the perfect city when you talk mm -hmm. about Grimm's fairy tales, mm -hmm. does the diversity of Portland, the, the landscape, things like that make it, uh, the weather make it perfect for you? Yeah, we like everything about Portland because if, it, if it's rainy, if it's misty, if it's gloomy, it's perfect for our show. If it's sunny and bright, we use that too. And it's, it's really like another character in the show. And, and we can't imagine shooting Grimm anywhere else but Portland. Well, you had, it's such a great concept, bringing fairy tales to life. Is it a comedy? Is it a drama? What is, what is it? It is. Uh, it's a dark show. It's a. It's a, as I say. It's a modern retelling of the Grimm fairy tales, but in a modern setting. There's no fairy tale world in our world. It all takes place in our world, and our hero is a homicide detective who can see the big bad wolf within the child molester. So he can see things that other people can't see. He can see the critters, the the emotional critters within certain people. It sounds like an incredible concept. Who came up with it? This concept came from a company called Hazy Mills. It's Todd Milner and Sean Hayes, the actor. And Todd came up with an idea in his shower many years ago of what about a modern retelling of the Grimm fairy tales. So he came to my partner, Jim Kauf, and myself, and we just really cottoned to the idea. We thought it was terrific. And uh, we came up with this whole concept of this modern retelling, it was sort of like fracturing the fairy tales and doing a police mystery with them at the same and time. And I remember Fractured Fairy Tales, yeah. one of my favorite cartoons. Great show. Now, Sean Hayes you mentioned, is that yeah. Sean Hayes from Will and Grace? Absolutely, yes, he's terrific and uh, he's one of the exec producers. And, and some of the actors, would we recognize them? Well, you might recognize Kate Burton from, um, if I could, Grey's Anatomy, uh -huh. and uh, uh, Silas Weir Mitchell from Prison Break. David Gintoli is, is a bit of a newcomer. He's our lead. Bitsy Tulluk, uh, um, all young, great people. Yeah, and, and your background is amazing. Uh, we're talking about Buffy, and, yeah. and tell me some of the things you've, you've done in the past. Well, I had the privilege of uh, uh, exec producing Buffy with Joss Whedon, and then he and I created Angel. I worked a little bit on X-Files, Wonder Years, a little show called Profit that maybe six or seven people saw, but was a good little show. Okay, not these three. <laughs> Apparently but, but, not. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and when, you sh when you get out of L.A., get mm -hmm. out of that scene and, mm -hmm. and shoot up on location in a place like this, is everything available to you? The sound stage, is there everything you need locally? Here? You know, we have everything we need in Portland. We've got a great crew. We've got great transpo, great locations, and, and literally great locations because you have things you couldn't do in L.A., you couldn't do in New York, you couldn't do anywhere else. You know, and it really looks like a Grimm's yeah. fairy tale. You mentioned here. Multnomah Falls. You yeah, shot. We, we, we've shot there, and that's beautiful. And we're, we're, we're going to put a dead body over the falls at a certain point in the season. So, you know, we have lots of fun up here. All right, what's the first episode about? The first episode is the story of Nick Burkhardt. He's a homicide detective in Portland, and he starts seeing very strange things that he shouldn't be seeing. He's seeing people morph. And his aunt comes to town, and she happens to be dying of cancer, and he's inheriting this power to see things that others can't see, to actually see grim characters within certain humans. And it all takes place in the real world. David, uh, don't tell any more because uh, you want to I'll get in to trouble in. if I do. Everyone to tune in. And uh, all the information's on NBC.com. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you as well. Make it a great day.